So in this video, we're going to talk about the idea of CH4, which is called methane. And today we're asking ourselves, is methane polar or is it nonpolar? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is draw our Lewis structures. Because Lewis structures, again, gives us the best representation of how to determine if a molecule is polar or not. So we have one carbon and we have four hydrogens. And we know from the periodic table, um, a carbon has four valence electrons and hydrogen has one uh, valence electron. And so the total amount of valence electrons we have to place is four plus four times one, which would be eight electrons total because we have four hydrogen. So therefore four times one would be four, right? So again, usually the atom that's furthest to the left in the molecular formula will be our central atom. And so in this case, carbon, and we know carbon is surrounded by four hydrogens, right? So we should be very comfortable by now to know that hydrogen can only form one bond. And so therefore, our formula typically would be um, starting with single bonds, right? So we could form a single bond between um, this hydrogen and that carbon and the carbon, also this hydrogen, this hydrogen as well, and this hydrogen, right? Now, how many total electrons we've placed? Two, four, six, eight. So we have total um eight electrons that we've placed carbon is an atom that must satisfy the octet rule and so we know that its valence is full in this case uh, we have eight electrons so this is a plausible structure for methane now we have to determine our dipole moments and we said that because carbon is for it's it's to the left i'm sorry uh, because carbon is furthest it's to the right of that of, of hydrogen carbon is ten carbon tend to be a little bit more uh electronegative than that of hydrogen and so therefore we know that um and let me use a different color we know that our hydrogens are going to slightly gain a positive charge and the electrons will be going towards the carbon right it's the same thing for this one and it's the same thing uh for this hydrogen right so the because the carbon is more electronegative it's going to be hogging the electrons uh, from that of hydrogen we also have another dipole moment here and so you can see that this molecule actually has polar bonds the bonds are slightly polar right um carbon is hugging the electrons uh, from that of the hydrogen so is this molecule polar or not well you have to remember the molecule is symmetrical and so because the molecule is symmetrical even though we have uh, slightly polar bonds this compound would actually be nonpolar, all right? So remember that symmetry is also a big. You have to take into you have to take into account symmetry when determining if a molecule is polar or not. The same is actually applicable for boron trifluoride. Boron trifluoride, its lower structure looks something like this. So this is boron's uh, trifluoride Lewis structure. And we say that the boron is less electronegative than that of fluorine. And so we know that our dipole moments uh, should be going uh, towards that of the fluorine. Hmm? Now, what you will actually see is that the addition of the right dipole moment and the left dipole moment will actually produce a net dipole moment uh, to be right down the middle. And so we have the dipole moments canceling out. But in case you did not know that formula that you could also use, you will see that the molecule is totally symmetrical. So this is trigonal planar. And so the molecule is totally symmetrical. In other words, if I draw a line straight down the middle, I should get two equal things on both sides. And so because the molecule is symmetrical, boron trifluor is also nonpolar. So the reason why I did all of that is to explain the kind of same concept that symmetry is very important. So in other words, if I draw a line straight down the middle of the, 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 the molecule on either side, on the right and on the left, I see the same thing. And so the molecule is symmetrical. And so even though we have slightly polar bonds in terms of CH, in terms of CH bonds, because the molecule is polar, I'm sorry, because the molecule is symmetrical, the net dipole moment ends up canceling itself out. And so therefore CH3 or CH4, I'm sorry, methane is nonpolar. 